Hello. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate my project, which is study Gore flow analysis and test in C language. I'll first explain the program and analysis approach. Later, I'll make a demonstration of the program. Buffer overflows occur when a program tries to access the outside of an allocated memory area. In most cases, this causes the program to crash. To provide secure code against buffer overflows, Programmers need methods for analyzing source code of a program to detect buffer overflow vulnerabilities. One way to implement such a method is to perform static analysis on the program. This study presents a static analysis tool for C language that can detect some buffer overflows that are generally called integer and stack overflows. A syntax analyzer and a value flow analyzer implemented to find overflows in a source code of a program. Here is the project design, the abstract syntax. Tree creator takes tokens from tokenizer, uh, then syntax models are created in AST creator, then volume flow analysis is done, and all flows are detected according to volume flow analysis. Integer all flow analysis. The integer all flow in a C program results in undefined behavior, that's why. The overflow analysis is done before the calculations, also using uninitialized values can cause buffer overflows. Stack and heap overflow analysis. Stack and heap based overflows are caused by accessing outside the bounds of the allocated area. That's why the bound chicken is the first criteria. Also, there are many unsafe standards, C library, and system data functions that can cause buffer overflows. These functions should also be analyzed. Now, I'm going to demonstrate my code my program I'm starting the program this is my test file also you can see in the screen uh, I'm choosing the file first here it analyzes the workflows in the line 5 we can see that it says uninitialized or overflow value in line line 5 integer G is uninitialized using it is uh, dangerous because we don't know what value is inside G. In nine, in line nine, you can see there is an integer overflow. It, there, there is an expression a plus b. That means b is integer maximum. If we sum it with five, it will be overflow. Also, in line eleven, there is also an uh, integer overflow. Uh, in in line 30, we, we are using G, which is uninitialized value. This this may also cause overflow. In line 25, it says index out of bounds because array error ARR is ARR's length is four, and we, we are trying to access fifth uh, index. This is also overflow. In line 36. We are doing strcpy operation uh, from string 1 is the destination, string 2 is source, but as you can see string 2 is the length of the string 2 cannot fit string 1, so this, is, this also causes overflow. Uh, in the line 34 we don't have an overflow as you can see. This is the demonstration of my video, thank you for listening and watching.